meant to say I thought it was really nice of you to wish Leanne well at her engagement party. Yeah, well, you just have to accept things and move on, don't you? Maybe we should invite him over Christmas in that case. I suppose we better start thinking about that now. How many people, what to eat... Stupid air! Oh, my God. What? It's a leak. It's coming from the bathroom. Now, go and get a bucket. There's one in the hallway. Right, come on. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to poke it with this. Come on, put it underneath. Be careful. No, it's fine. I've seen Carl do it before. Unless you've got any better ideas. Yeah, I think we should get a man in. No, this is going to burst any minute. Right. Are you ready? Go on. <laughs> Listening to you again. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mm. Perfect scrambled eggs. Really? Mmm. That's where I like them. Good. I looked all over for this top before breakfast. Did you want to wear it? You spent all day at home and you can't find time to wash a simple top. I've had a lot on. I'm only joking. Don't look so worried. Sit well. Hello. See ya. Yeah, bye. Well, you done me for that. Go on, say it if it helps get it out of your system. Oh, forget it. Oh, thank God I ain't missed you. Oh, look. Here's another one you mucked me about. What? What, you forgot already, have you? Oi, Mouth, I'm trying to put some work your way if you'll shut up. Come on. Hey, um, you working tonight? No. Well, then, early night, I reckon, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> What's wrong? You having second thoughts? No. Well, then I don't see any point hanging about. I get your skulking around, but it's a bit weird. Well, it's never stopped you before. Yeah, but it's a bit different now. Oh. Morning, Mum. You sound chirpy. Well, that's because we've got some good news. Me and Kylie are going to try for a baby. Really? Yes. Yeah. Made his minds up, haven't we? Yeah. I never thought this through. That's right. Throw cold water over it. No. I'm doing no such thing. Of course we thought it through. It's just I thought uh, Kylie wasn't very keen. Yeah, well, she's made her mind up now. Well, I'm very happy for you. Seriously? Yes, I mean, I've known it's been on the agenda for a while, so if you've decided... I won't say congratulations just yet. That might be a bit premature. Yeah, yeah, but uh, don't worry, you're a bit first to know. Right, well, I found a leak. Under the bath, behind the panelling where you can't see it. But don't worry, I've turned the water off so there'll be no more flooding. So what are we going to do for a bathroom in the meantime? Well, you'll have to use a pub toilet. Oh, you're joking. How long for? Well, I don't know, till we get it fixed. A couple oh. of weeks, maybe. Oh, next you're going to be saying I need a new bathroom. Please don't say that. Well, I doubt we'll get the bath out in one piece. Oh. But by the time we've had it retailed, you'll probably want a new one anyway. Well, what about this ceiling? Yeah, I'll have to come out and all. It needs a new joist, plasterboard. Oh. It needs skimming over, painting. I think I'm going to be sick. Sorry. How much is it going to cost? Well, you want me to price it up? Well, have I got any choice? Right, well, I've been going. Tell them where I am. Hey. This is nice, isn't it, eh? Just the two of us. So, why don't we bob down to the shop, get a few bits and pieces. So, I need my wallet and my phone, just in case. And my keys. Which, uh... Oh. Did I see you all having a curtain earlier? Yeah, because I was late. 
My hair was drenched after that ceiling fell in. Mm. I don't know what he thought I was supposed to do. Come in here with my hair sopping wet and catch pneumonia. <laughs> Kill me, Mum. I mean, as if it was all going to go in that stupid little bucket. Not listening to her again. <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. <gasps> International out of area, it'll be one of them cold calls. I eat it when I'm dry, is it? Oh, <laughs> it's one rule for the bosses, another for us. Mm. You know you can die from pneumonia. Oh, I know. Welcome to the bomb site. Blimey. I've cut the bathroom off, just pressing the job, boss. Anyone killed? No, just drenched. Can you not turn the water back on just until you're ready to do it so we don't have to use the pub toilets? What are the floorboards like? Rotten and the joist. Well, you have a bath, love. You've probably come through the ceiling right now. It's looking as it hasn't happened before. Oh, this is all I need. Can I make you a coffee? Yeah, tea would be nice, love. Milk, tea, sugars. Yeah. What's up? 27 Balaclava Terrace. There's a couple of tiles come off the roof. Run along and fix it, will you? Well, there's nothing to say, yeah. Jason, you're a good lab, but I'll handle it now. All right, mate. Why did God make wine? so heavy. Well, you will work in a wine bar. Yeah, it's all my own fault. So it does have its compensation. Such as? Well, the money, the feeling of being wanted that the job gives you, and of course, the company. Uh, fridge is looking very low. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, here's trouble. Uh, about your engagement party. Look, you're having a round. That's far more important. Yeah, I am really sorry, though. Forget it. I have. Cheers. Are you working tonight? Uh, Nick's rotated me in for a few extra shifts in the run-up to Christmas, yeah. Good. Just me and Carly could do with the quality time. Well, I certainly wouldn't want to be around while that's going on. No, just she gets a bit self Yeah, OK, David. No need to elaborate. Actually, it might be an idea if we knew your movements from day to day, like this week and next, just because I think we're going to be a bit busy. I need permission to go into my own house next. Well, if you don't mind walking in, we'll... All right, David. I'll get my rotor. Uh, excuse me? Do you mind if we join you? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Although I'm uh, almost finished here. How was it? Gorgeous. <laughs> I bet you say that to all the girls. Yes, I do. <laughs> what did you have, hot pot? Yeah, it was as if Betty was looking down at me from heaven, <laughs> smiling <laughs> when I ate that. So to the lady with the rumbling tummy. <laughs> do you fancy one, Dennis? Oh, I wouldn't say no. Right. Oh, I tell you what, will you go and do the honours? Is that your pocket money, Dennis? Sorry. Well, change from that. I'll keep you in humbugs until Christmas if you go careful. It wouldn't pay for one of your eye-watering cab fares, if that's what you mean. Mm. Sorry, that's bunk. There was no need for that. He's got a damn cheek. Or... Has he got a point? How do you mean? Well, I shouldn't be dishing out cash to you at your age. Why don't you use the cash card I gave you when we got married? Oh, it's such a fiddle. It's the easiest thing in the world. Uh, no, but it's... But, not... do you know, I don't think you've used it once. I bet it's still at the back of your sock drawer. So what if it is? You do know how to use a card, don't you? Oh, Danny. Ty! What do you want? Well, this is not a good idea. Ty! Ty! What? You're not still trying to defend her. No, but if she catches you here, all hell will break loose. She's going to work, and she? can let me in for five minutes. I can't. Come on! I mean it, I can't. Door's locked, I can't find my keys. Oh, well, go to the factory and get Kirsty's. The front door's locked and all. So you can't get out? Well, you'll have to ring her then. I've tried, she's not answering. This is a revenge. What? Did she tell you I rang this morning? No. Yeah. On your mobile and she answered. No! See, you're just making things worse. I'm sorry. <sighs> I can't find my phone either. Has she taken that and all? She must have. It was next to me keys. That means she'll be going through everything. She'll have seen how many times we've contacted oh. each other. Well, what are you going to do now? I'm just going to have to wait until she gets home from work. You can't. What if there's a fire? It's a bit unlikely. Right. What if something happens to Ruby and you need to take her to hospital, eh? Ty, she's just getting more and more control over you. You can't kick up a stink or leave. 
She could take Ruby. I might never see her again. But you can't go on like this. Where's it gonna end? You better go in case she catches us. She's holding you prisoner in your own home. Well, I'm just gonna have to ride it out and hope things get better. But this is ridiculous. What else can I do? I see for a change. Oh, just leave me alone, eh, Mum? Oh, one of those days. Come on, come to Mummy. Mum, I'm 30 next year. Look at me. I think you look lovely. Well, I can't hold your relationship down for more than five minutes. My last girlfriend dumped me for a gay bloke. A flipping gay. Yeah, but those were unusual circumstances. Yeah, and this morning, I'm priced up a job, and Owen sends me off on some brainless bit of roof work because he thinks I'm too thick to do our house. I'm sure that was not the reason. Mum, there's lads my age earn a fortune and retired. Oh, well, look, maybe you could start up a hedge fund or the new Facebook. Yeah, that's right. Take the mic, Mum. Oh, Jason, get real. Nobody likes the job. I do. I just want more control. You just need to knuckle down and get on with it like everyone else. Well, it's not good enough. So what are you going to do? I don't know, but I just want to... Oh, you are just looking to have a job in this climate. Look, Mum, there's no way I'm taking orders of somebody for the next 35 years. Then do something about it and stop just droning on. But you won't, will you? None of us ever do. Hey. Cheers. Dennis, come here. I am going to drag you into the 21st century if it kills me. I don't see you with this out very often. I can't be the only one who doesn't use plastic. Well, it's true it's not often called for, but it's there if anybody wants it. Now, have you got your pin number? Oh, bloody newfangled contraptions. Now, just imagine you've bought something for a pound. Why is it called chip and pin, by the way? Just put your card in. You don't know the answer, do you? Till the way around. You're still dodging the question. Yeah, well, I know how to use a card and that's all that matters. <laughs> now, put your pin number in. <sighs> you know, you need to memorise that. You don't want thieves looking over your shoulder and then trying to nick your card, do you? Another reason not to use one. Just press enter. Now, we wait for it to come through. I could have paid cash in this time. Stop wittering. There we are. Right. Now, so I keep that, Ooh. and you keep that. Is that all there is to it? So, that's one pound gone from my joint account into the cabin. Here, have a bar of chocolate. But this is amazing. Oh, hello. -ho. So, I don't have to carry money around with me anymore? No. Why didn't you tell me this before? Oh, Dennis. This, my friend, is how you do an estimate. What's that? A day and a half to remove bathroom suite and floor tiles. Boss could do that in a day. Yeah, but she's not to know that, though, is she? Two days to retile that bathroom floor. Are you going to stand there all afternoon, tut tutting? Six and a half grand. We could do it for half that. Yeah, and you'd be living in a pokey bed sit somewhere with two skins to have the eating on. Why do you think I sent you away this morning? It still doesn't seem right, though, does it, eh? No, it's an insurance job. You won't even be paid for it. Look, just leave the management side of things to me, all right, son? Actually, I want to speak to you about that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've, um, I've got some money now, sold the flat, and I was wondering, mate, how you feel about me buying into the business? What, you mean, you mean you as partners? Well, if I put money in, we can expand, can't we? Well, let me stop you right there, mate, cos, uh, thanks for the offer, but I'm not interested. Well, I can't be your dog's body the whole time. Oh, you might not, Jason. No, I'm not. When I was off pricing that job, you sent me back in. Yeah, cos you didn't know what you were doing. Yes, I did. I just got different figures, that's all. Mate, it's taken me years of blood, sweat and toll to build this business up just like it is. So I've no intention of selling up, all right? Or sharing it with anyone. Especially not someone who's so wet behind the ears. What, is that you look at me, is it? Hey? I'm happy as I am, all right? And if you're not happy with the deal we've got, then you know where the door is. Or you can brush the yard. Oh, you're home? Yeah. You all right? <sighs> Whacked. I'll make you a cuppa in a minute. That'd be nice. Just finish this. How's Ruby been? Good as gold. She's just having a nap. Tell you what is weird, though. I've been able to find my keys. Really? Yeah. <laughs> been locked in all day. One of us must have deadlocked both the doors. Strange. Not picked them up by mistake, have you? Your keys? Hmm. No, it sounds balmy. It's just... Well, I've looked everywhere else. Oh, I... don't believe it. 
Here you go. You need to be an explanation. So you've been locked in all day? Tried ringing you. I got your call. My phone was on silent. We've been busy. I meant to call you back, but I forgot. Yeah, cos that's the other weird thing. I can't find my phone either. Well, I definitely don't have that. Anyway, I was thinking you don't really need a mobile anymore, do you? Don't I? Well, you're at home most of the day and you've got the landline. Why pay for something you barely use? I suppose. Save us two or three hundred quid a year. Something to think about. Mm. Right, come on, we've only got half hour. What? So we have to go and get Max from his party. What? You know, come on. Oh, no, what if Phil comes back? I told you, it feels weird. She's not going to come back. Look, look at this. What's that? It's a rotor, yeah, for the week. And look here, she's not going to be back till later. Oh, and you said romance for dad. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry, but if we had his own place, yeah, it'd be a bit different. Well, have I got time for a sandwich? No, 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 up the stairs now. Well, you've just had one. Yeah, I know, but you can have one when I go and get Max, all right? So oh. come on. Ow! Come on! <laughs> here, and when he's in bed, we'll have round two. Uh, one thing at a time, shall we? Come on. I'm having a bath, OK? OK. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. Cos I knew you'd lie to me. I lied to you. Yeah. You took my keys on purpose. I'm a I lied to you. Are you okay? Love fizz. Two kisses. That's because she's worried about Let's me. Talk. Please call. Three kisses. Everybody puts kisses. There are fifteen texts and eight missed calls, and you replied to half of them. Because she's and just you a mate. Talk about me lying to you. I told you to have no more to do with and her. I haven't. And there's the proof. And that's why I took your phone. Because you can't be trusted. When are you going to learn? Food to the girls tonight. I hope we're all fit. Ready, willing, and able. And me. That's all I'd like to hear. I assume that David knows what he's letting himself in for. I think so. He's very good with children. We'll be making of them. One of my biggest regrets, not having any kids. Really? Hmm. I don't think it'd be nice to have a you know, grown-up son. He'd be a very good father. Oh, I don't know about that. I think so. You're a good listener. It's an important part of it. You're the expert, and you are a good parent, no doubt about that. Did my best. Mm. Well, you look very well on it. You know, I, I find it hard to believe you're going to be a grandmother. Oh, I'm that already. Oh, of course, I forgot. Make it even more extraordinary. What does? You don't look old enough, frankly. I'm old enough to take remarks like that with a pinch of salt. Oh, I better watch my step. There are people around here. Who might accuse me of flattery. How you can call her a mate after what she accused me of last week? I can't stop her if she wants to text me. You encourage her. No, I don't. Then why reply to her? If something was going on, do you think I'd leave her messages on my phone? I have told you time and time again, so I've nothing more to do with her. And I keep her arms up. Bloody love! Don't you look at me like that. Like what? You've just belted me again. This is the only language you oh, 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 Please stop. You're making a fool of me in front of the police. It wasn't and me. You carried up talking to her and then lied to me like the liar you are. Oh. 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 Now apologise. Apologise. Yeah. Oh, don't keep me. You don't think I like being like this, do you? I'm waiting. I'm sorry. Come on, Tia! I'm sorry for upsetting you! That's better. I'm going for a hot soak. Should give you time to get my tea ready. Hiya. You all right? Did you get the estimate? Yeah. Nearly fell off my chair. And there's VAT on top. Well, there is a way to get around that. What? Cash? No. I do it. I thought you were doing it anyway. Yeah, well, if you hire me direct and you forget about Owen, I'll knock you three grand off his price and there'll be no back to pay. 
I didn't know you did jobs on the side. I've been thinking about setting up on my own for some time now. Well, how comes you can do it cheaper? Well, I don't have his overheads for a start. Unless you say his idea and mine of what things cost are two different things. Are you saying he's overcharging me? He's overestimated the time it'll take and all. Look, there'll be none of that with me. I can start tomorrow. You go with Owen, you might not get it done till after Christmas. Oh, I can't wait that long. And he's got other jobs lined up first. Whereas me, I guarantee he's have it done way before he will. OK, let's do it. Yeah? Deal? Deal? All right. What's Owen going to say when he finds out, though? Usually that's about. Hiya, what can I get you? I've got a coat, please. God, you could do it if you put your mind to it. Yeah, right, ma'am. She's let you out, has she? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. She's not been hitting you again, has she? Badly. Worst ever. Oh. It's how you've got to get out of this. I can't. You can. She's going to end up killing you if it carries on. Right, I swear, I will get you out of this nightmare. You don't get it, dear. There is no way out. Yeah, there is. If you've been affected by Tyrone's story, you can call Mankind Initiative's National Helpline on 01823 334244. Normal BT rates apply, though mobile charges may be higher. Or visit mankind.org.uk.